I'm a miler, or you're a miler. You have to have the endurance of the marathon runner, but the speed of a sprinter as well. With workouts, you also have to incorporate the marriage of both of those. But over a 10 week period, you have a bigger emphasis at the endurance stage of the workout at the start and more at the speed stage at the end. One of the biggest questions people ask when they start putting in these harder workouts is how many times a week do you put in the hard efforts? For me, I found that twice a week is the perfect balance where I can still include recovery days and an important long run each week but also get in these harder efforts in between. So we need to transition from the endurance to the specific speed of the races over a 10 week period. So the first three or four weeks, I always focus on the endurance while touching on a little bit of speed either at the beginning or the end of the workout. In the middle, I have a really fine balance where half of it is on the endurance stuff and half of it is on the speed. And at the end, I'm mostly focusing on my speed work, specific 1500 meter mile training but I'm also making sure I don't lose my endurance by also doing some longer intervals or some tempo runs at the start to keep my endurance as well. What I love about being a miler is you get to mix things up and so every workout I make sure that they're different. You're touching different facets. You get on the hills, you get on the trails, and when you get on the track, you have to work all of the different angles. But what I hate about being a miler, but you have to do it, is those long, grindy, arduous stuff, the 20 times 400 the 10 times 300 all at a grindy race pace, as my coach calls them, a toothache. Because it's there, you can feel it, but you can also get through it at the same time. There are a million different ways to construct a workout, and I'll leave that to you and your coach how to do that. But most of all, what you have to remember is you have to be incredibly fit, you have to be incredibly fast, but most of all, you have to have an incredible amount of economy running at race pace to feel comfortable doing that. And none of that matters if you're injured, so you have to construct your workouts in such that your body is ready to take on that new stress or stimulus without breaking down. So when I've come to the end of this phase and I need one final workout to cap it off to know I'm ready to get going and race, my key workout is a 1000 meters at 3000 meter pace, four 400 meters at just faster than 3000 meter pace, and then a 1K AUG. All you've got is my coach says, and I'll do that in 220, 221. I know, hey, I've got a good shot at breaking 330 in Monaco. Next episode, we're gonna be focusing on how do we actually get ready for the race. We've done all of the training, everything's taken care of. How do we get our body fine-tuned and ready and relaxed to run fast?